Hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of June 1st through June the 7th. I am using my Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so let's just get started here. We've got the King of Swords coming up for you, Sagittarius, on Monday. King of Swords is just talking to me about somebody that is actually coming into your sphere. So somebody that you're going to be interacting with on Monday. This could be um, a boss or a supervisor. This could be somebody that you know who is just um, really good at thinking things through logically and making a plan and following through with it. King of Swords is typically talking about a businessman who's really good at doing business. Um, and the King of Swords is someone who um, can see things very clearly. He can kind of cut through all the fog and all the haze and get straight to the truth. And so I really see you dealing with somebody like this on Monday. And it seems like really that cutting through to the truth is the most important part of his character that's coming out. So it may be that... Um, it may be that you are going to be talking to a judge or maybe talking to a lawyer. It could also be that you're talking to a very good psychic, maybe a, uh, a, an astrologer. Um, doesn't really matter what tools they use, but it could be that you're talking to a really good psychic. They're good at cutting through to the truth. Um, let's see, but this is a, a male energy. This is not female energy. This is male energy. Um, so I just feel like there's somebody like that that you're going to be interacting with. So either a very good businessman or somebody cutting through to the truth. Um, could be somebody who is a good businessman cutting through to the truth. Maybe there's a bunch of silliness that's been going on around your office or wherever you work lately and somebody comes in to sort out what the heck is going on and why and how do we get things um, on a better track. That could be happening on Monday very easily. Okay. So then Tuesday what we have Sagittarius. Ooh, this is interesting. Because <laughs> this kind of... Okay, so here's what you have. You have the transformation card. And this, to me, is really going along quite well with Monday. It's fitting in quite easily. So if you have this businessman that came in to get to the bottom line of what's going on around work, or really any part of your life, this could be a family person, you know, this could be like a father or an uncle coming in and saying, okay, what's going on? How come people aren't getting along? What's happening here? You know, it could be happening that way, too. But I see major, major change coming in on Tuesday. And so this is exactly the kind of card that might show up when somebody comes in and says, uh, yeah, we've got to get some things on a better track here. This is going to happen now. This is going to happen now. This is going to happen now. No longer are we going to be doing this, this, or this. So it kind of actually all tails in really well. So it looks like you've got some changes coming up. Um, normally... This kind of card talks about changes that you're making within yourself. But what I'm really feeling for the majority of you Sagittarius is this is going to be something that definitely has some external changes. And I feel like as you're going through the external changes, and when I talk about external changes, I'm talking about changes in the physical, tangible world, not so much changes in your perspective or your consciousness or whatever. So as you are dealing with those changes in the physical, tangible world, that actually starts to bring about changes in your perspective. And you start at first, I don't feel like you're very thrilled about these changes. I feel like you're kind of like, they send an idiot in here who knows nothing, and now we got to do things his way as if he really has some kind of insight. That's kind of the attitude that I'm picking up as you go through these physical, tangible changes. And then what I'm feeling is as you actually start to do these things that are being required of you, even though you don't really like them, your perspective starts to shift and you start to see that, you know what, maybe these are having more benefit than what you expected them to. And so there's a little bit of respect going to the person who implemented these changes and you're starting to um, really see the benefit of them, not only for yourself, but for everybody. All right, so ba -da -da -da, Wednesday... What you Sagittarius is have coming up is you have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Okay, so Seven of Swords, when it comes up right side up, a lot of times I think of it as picking up the pieces, especially in this deck. I mean, it has a few different meanings that it could be, but when I use this deck, it normally comes to me as picking up the pieces after, you know, after some kind of big calamity or change or what have you. But when it's coming up reversed, it means something completely different. And this time, um, the meaning that I'm pulling is completely different than I've ever pulled off of this card before. So um, Wednesday, what I'm feeling like is 
we're still talking about the changes that are happening because of this King of Swords that showed up on Monday and the changes that happened Tuesday. By Wednesday, we're looking at going into the next phase of changes or we're going into seeing some of the results of these changes and I feel like you're start, as you're starting to see some of the results you're starting to realize it's not about picking up the pieces here because a lot of times when we go through change then we have to pick up the pieces that were left behind but this is really bringing things together in a better way than they were before so it's not about picking up the pieces in as much as it's about creating something that's better here so really a good card. I mean, I'm seeing this real nice positive trend in your environment in some way, um, whether it's family or whether it's work um, with this King of Swords person getting involved and really putting these changes out there. And then I've got the Ace of Swords showing up in reverse on Thursday. This is just talking about discipline, about sticking with it. Normally I have a whole other meaning for this card too, but these are all kind of dovetailing together. So this is talking about sticking with those new changes, about knowing that those new changes are bringing about um, great benefits, but also acknowledging that the changes are difficult, the changes are different, they're not the same as they used to be, and so there is kind of that learning curve, and it, it does sort of slow things down a little bit to do it this new way and to think about, okay, how are we doing this now, where does this get filled in, where do we take this, you know, whatever it is that's changing, Sometimes after we've been doing this new thing for a few days, even though the old way didn't, didn't work as well, it was comfortable and we knew what we were doing and it was less of a challenge because we didn't have to think so much. So Thursday it feels like it's kind of tempting to go back to the old way even knowing what the consequences would be. But I see um, really the discipline of keeping on moving forward. And it's a good thing to keep on moving forward because... The card that you get on Friday as a result of this is the sun. So sticking with those new changes actually brings out the sun. <laughs> and the sun is a really great card. It talks about being in a situation where you feel totally encouraged, uplifted, supported. It's a, pl it's a situation where you can express yourself creatively exactly the way that you want to, that you need to, that makes you feel fulfilled. Now, excuse me. I'm feeling this energy coming at me as I'm talking about expressing yourself creatively exactly the way you want to. And this energy, Sagittarius, is, is coming at me from some of you who, um, when it comes to whatever the situation is that's been changed, this environment where things had to be changed, you're used to expressing yourself with cuss words and with anger and frustration. Well, now everything's changing, and that's very frustrating, too. But things are changing for the good. And so when I'm talking about expressing yourself exactly the way you need to, I'm not talking about with this negative energy. I'm not talking about with anger or frustration. I'm talking about expressing yourself in a way that actually makes you feel fulfilled. Okay? So I don't want you to hear this and think, Oh, a mister gave me the go-ahead to cuss my head off. <laughs> about all these changes going on at work. Nope, sure didn't. <laughs> what I'm feeling here is you really expressing yourself in a way that makes you feel fulfilled. And for those of you whose energy I'm getting that like to do all the cussing, does it really make you feel fulfilled or does it make you feel vindicated? Because those are two completely different feelings. Okay? And fulfilled is so much better than vindicated, I have to tell you. <laughs> At least I think so. So anyway, I see some really great communication going on on Friday where um, it's productive communication. It's two-way communication. It's not just all this toxic blech because these people have been dumping toxic situations on you. It's actually productive communication. And I see you also just really doing some things that you're feeling good about in your situation on Friday. Yay! Okay, so Saturday, Sagittarius. You have such an unusual week. Okay, so Saturday you've got the Ten of Clubs in reverse. 
Ten of Clubs in Reverse is just talking about that there's some kind of um, responsibility that you normally handle on Saturday, and generally this responsibility is either going to have to do with family or it's going to have to do with significant other or possibly close friends, but typically family first, significant other second, and then close friends. Um, and so what I'm seeing about this is that whatever this responsibility is that you normally would be handling on Saturday, I see you just letting it slide away. I see you just letting that responsibility go. You're not handling it on Saturday. Maybe, um, maybe somebody, maybe it's normally that you take somebody to um, some kind of sporting practice, but they are spending the weekend over at their best friend's house, and so that person's parents is, are taking them to that sporting event practice or the sporting event. Maybe it's not even a practice. Maybe it's an actual match or something. So anyway, that's kind of an example of how that could happen. You know, if that person that normally you're responsible for goes somewhere else and someone else picks up that responsibility. But I just see on Saturday you're getting a break from some kind of responsibility that you normally um, have towards family, significant other, or a close friend. Sunday, we have the emperor in reverse. And I want to feel around about this one before I start just blabbing away here. Okay, so, yeah, all right, so, <laughs> can you tell I don't even want to spit this out, gosh, okay, so it's really the message you need to hear, so um, I'm going to trust that this information is for your highest and best good, because that's the deal I have with Sacred Spirit, and that this heads up will help you in some way. But Sunday, here's the deal. I feel like you're going to have somebody come in that you're going to be interacting with on Sunday who is um, an authority figure. So in other words, they're responsible for being a leader, whether it's a family leader or a team leader or what have you. And um, this person is, mm, yeah, this person basically is corrupt. In other words, he doesn't take his leadership very responsibly. He doesn't. He doesn't um, realize um, the responsibility that comes with leadership, and so he's con he's really corrupt about how he handles things. Um, I'm hearing that he plays favorites. I'm hearing that he's also moody. He's very up and he's very down, and that I'm hearing about walking on eggshells. That you have to walk on eggshells around this person because. Um, you never know what's going to set him off. He can be happy one minute, and you know, a second later, he can be um, just kind of going off the deep end. So this is somebody that um, you really can't rely on anything to be the same from this person to moment to moment to moment because he's just he's very he's very wavery. I guess is the way to say it. He changes a lot. And so um, it's it's really hard to be around him because you just never know what to expect. What you did last week that this guy thought was fantabulous, you do it again today, and he may think that that's the worst thing that he's ever seen in his life. So um, this is not a fun person to hang out with on Sunday, and I see you um, having um, the great joy, sarcastically, of um, getting to spend some kind of time with him on Sunday and interacting with him on, in some way. You know, if you're lucky, it's just on a phone call. Uh, but I do feel like for a lot of you, you are going to be interacting with this person in person. For some of you, it's not going to be that long. I'm actually getting the image of, um, like, running into this person in the store, seeing how he's treating other people, and he's not actually, like, spewing any of this negative stuff at you. But you happen to um, get to see this guy in action. And I feel like uh, for those of you who don't interact with him in a big way, I feel like even witnessing how he behaves really makes kind of a, a big impact on you. It, it gets you to start thinking about different things and about people and relationships and things that go on amongst people. Okay, so Sagittarius, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. I am offering some new services there, too. So if you'd like to get your own personal cards of the day, that's now available. And then I have also offering a couple other things, so check it out. Um, once you've poked around there a little bit, if you feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, then go ahead and contact me, and we will schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. And for everybody else, I will see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.